From uh, the forests of Augsburg, Bavaria, this is a 250-year-old pipe that's been in the family and handed down and documented for at least six generations. I got it lit up. Smoking some of my granddad's blend. This is a uh, vintage uh, Briggs. Now, of course, this was uh, canned long after my uh, grandfather uh, passed away in 1943, but the point is he smoked Briggs. I'm smoking Briggs. He uh, may have well smoked Briggs in this pipe. I wonder what other tobaccos have been in this pipe. The chamber itself is uh, well uh, worn. I mean, uh, it doesn't look like it's ever really been clean. And if you take the uh, this part out, this cork that's in here is all corroded, not corroded, but it's just worn away over years. So there's really not a good base of security with this thing in there. I mean, I tip it over, it could fall out. So i got to be real careful with it. The stem, uh, I don't know if it's a period... Uh, uh, confirmed piece or not. I mean, this could be a replaced uh, stem on here. I have no idea. All I know for sure is um, for the last three generations, uh, the pipe's location has been documented. My dad did not smoke it, but uh, his father and uh, three previous generations did. So here we go. Whoops! See, I almost dropped it. Got to be real careful. Let me try to get this thing lit up. It's got a windscreen on it. Uh, now, Joseph Smith, who I don't have a picture of, he lived from 1740. He was the original owner of this pipe. Uh, oh, where's my lighter? Well, you're never uh, quite prepared, are you? Lighter's in the other room. I'm going to try to light this up again and get it going. Okay, family matters. So if you've got some heirloom pipes, uh, by all means, hang on to them. Pass them down to the next generation. And uh, maybe in 250 years, somebody will be smoking your pipe. Family, take care.